Okay, so forgot to press record, but I put one of my little dudes away and then grabbed some little things inside of a cave. Not sure what the mutation is or anything like that, but worried about eating it because I don't know what it's going to do to my little guys. And I think this is what I have to do now, if I'm not mistaken. We have to go over the cylinder. Like, it doesn't look like anything's on the other side. I don't want to jump down. That's scary. Hold on, little guys. Oh my god, we can't say? Oh my god. Okay. Like there's anything good over here. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. What the fuck? Sucks me up into his face. Mechanical face TV hole thing. What in the fuck? All right, little guys. Inside let's go. the strange giant's mind, the voice that spoke to the Trebum seemed different. It was less like a memory, more like something alive. And there were so many other voices, too, lost in this place. What the? I remember the mountains of my home, the vast forests, the clouds hanging low overhead, the cities in the valleys where the rivers ran. I remember the faces of my children and the songs we sang when the stars rose high. But I have forgotten the names of all these things, and slowly one melts into the other. My children will become mountains, the forests will become songs, and then all will become one and be nothing. There you go, Link. There was something hidden in this place. Mm, okay. And the voice Don't the want to go outside. Built in the desert, in defiance of thirst. When night fell, it shone like a jewel. And even the stars envied its brightness. Poets and scientists so gathered from desert. around the world. And its great observatories scoured the sky for wisdom and beauty. That is where we first saw the new star. <coughs> was a memory, a song from a forgotten time, slowly fading. But some of these memories were Trevor memories, memories of things that Trevor had once been capable of. Perhaps, the voice suggested, these could be reclaimed. I remember how our towers stretched out to the sky, yearning for the stars. They were symbols of our best and our worst. Mm, it looks like there's. Oh, that's a trap. Looks 
It looks like there's human shadows here too or something. I don't know. This was a place of death and nothingness. There were no answers to be found here. The voice and their memories urged them to return to the lands of the living. Uh. All right, damn scene. Friggin' two legged leg with butt cheeks. Like death and nothing. I don't know, man. There's minerals here. There's something. All right. Well, this was this was fantastically fun. Lots happening over here. No. More minerals. All right. My guy looks like, uh, I don't know. I don't know about this. Alright, got my whole crew. Profound feeling of futility overcame the Trevor. Part two against the cold. Despite having miraculously survived their encounter <coughs> with the mathematician, they were back to where they'd started. To make matters worse, ahead of them lay the cold and snowy lands of the tundra. Not a very nice place for Trevor, who were not meant to live in the cold. They would have to push forward against all odds and pray that they could find help.
If the Trepan were going to deal with this terrible cold, they needed to find a mutation that would keep them warm. And I already did that. That the answer lay in the odd little purple furball that grew where the beautiful snow corals rose from the ground. Man, you a day late, dollar short. I already got that damn mutation. Little narrator voice. Hoping that do something. I wonder what those weird heated rocks are for. <laughs> What's up here? Look at that little trebum. I think that's a trebum. Looks weird as shit. I guess I can eat like a fuzzball if that's what he wants me to do. But... Yeah, we're already poofing, so. Oh shit, is that a. Is that an alien that looks like a plant? I don't like that nature trying to trick us. Hey, this weird shit. Oop. They might have mutations, but they do not. Intense 80s music. Oh, synth, synth. Oh, yeah, synth. Uh, uh. <laughs> I don't think these guys hurt us. I don't know what they do exactly, but they don't hurt you. Stay away from me, you damn pterodactyl piece of shit. Save real quick. 
Say it real quick. Do, 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 do. little skin flap ghosts roam around picking up rocks and making them hot I'm like what is that all about got a little trebum cave over here looks like it might be where I'm gonna upgrade some shit I don't want to get conflicting friggin' powers. I got a bunch of fucking AirPod things again, so if I need. Alright, so forget what this one does. What does it do? Oh, that might be the third eye or something. What does this one do? Long distance water spring. Okay, interesting. This guy doesn't have any trunk modifications. Uh, these guys water squirting even though I want them to have the fucking what's it the the antitoxin trunk. holes in the ground where I can save little guys or any homes or anything like that before I go. I wanna I wanna try and save more little guys before I hop into the Nothing so far. Not a single little little home for a guy or anything. side cave like I was looking at before. Maybe they'll have some Yeah, minerals. Woo!
Whew. Bless me. Just the force field. That was loud. Jack, my little guy. Hold up. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna take my little guy and float on away. I have no way to fucking get him back, you little asshole. Fuck you, dude. What the? Look at this little guy. Like, what do I use it for? <laughs> All right, I guess I'll go into the tunnel. Enter the shrine. Oh boy, here I go mineral collecting again. I'm sure everyone loves this part of my videos where I'm just in a cave, sucking up minerals. Waiting for them to process. <laughs> Munch a munch a crunch. Right 
Moan. Ugh. God damn it. <laughs> You're pushing me around. God damn. Water. Eat some more gems. Delicious. I love eating gems. Just hear wee in the background. Oh, whoops. God damn it. How are you even supposed to get those? Process the rest of these minerals real quick. <laughs> 